A microburst has struck your town. Roads are blocked with debris. Power is out. Communications are compromised. You need to open a shelter, set up detours, communicate with the public and response partners. You need more resources than you have. What can you do? The Western Region Homeland Security Advisory Council's Resource Guide for Available Emergency Equipment and Supplies in Western Massachusetts can help. In the guide, you will find equipment you can borrow to accomplish your response goals. Equipment such as emergency shelter trailers packed with equipment to supplement your own shelter supplies, traffic safety supply trailers to assist with setting up detours and other traffic safety notices, message boards to provide information to the public, light towers to light darkened areas, multi-band radios to communicate with multiple response partners who operate on different frequencies, mobile generators to temporarily provide power to emergency response operations, disaster animal response trailers for companion animal sheltering, and much more. The Council's resource guide provides detailed information about the types of resources available, where they are located, and how to borrow them. The equipment and supplies are strategically located throughout Western Massachusetts. Most resources are available in each of the four counties and in sufficient numbers for easy access during an emergency. Resources are available to first responders and municipalities on a first-come, first-served basis in the case of both bona fide emergencies and planned events. Though in an emergency, resources may be prioritized based on identified regional needs. Parties eligible to borrow these resources include all local, regional, and state government units within Western Massachusetts. Borrowers are typically responsible for picking up the emergency supplies and may need specialized vehicles to transport them, although in some cases delivery by the host agency can be arranged. Borrowing the equipment does come with responsibilities. Borrowers must return the resources and all non-consumable goods in the same condition as when loaned. Within 30 days, they must restock any of the consumable items that have been used. Furthermore, borrowers are financially responsible for any repairs or extraordinary maintenance needed to restore damaged items to their original condition. The resource guide is available on the Council's website. It is advised that you download the guide and print a copy for easy and immediate reference during an incident when the power may be out. The Council encourages the use of the equipment for planned events, such as trainings and drills, so you are familiar with how to use the equipment and the borrowing process. The guide is updated as new equipment is purchased. Using the resource guide, you found supplies to support your shelter, traffic safety equipment to set up detours, and radios to communicate with your partners. Your community appreciates how you saved the day. To download the resource guide, to learn about all the resources available to you, and for more information about emergency preparedness in general, please visit the Council's websites.